Hello and welcome to the Zon Pages email autoresponder tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up your autoresponder. The email autoresponder is a tool that lets you automatically send emails through the Amazon messaging system to your Amazon clients based on order status events. For example, you can automatically send a manual for your products as a PDF attachment when the system detects that the package has been delivered or shipped. To use the email autoresponder system, or EAR, you will need to connect your Amazon Seller Central account through the Amazon API called MWS or Marketplace Web Service with Zon Pages. You can do this from the dashboard. Just click on the MWS setup link. If you have already done this, then you can skip this part. Once your MWS has been set up, you can start up with your EAR system. Click on the email autoresponder link on the left menu. If this is your first time using the EAR, then you'll be asked to set up some basic configuration. First, you need to set up your from email address. This is usually the email address you use to log into your Amazon Seller Central. You can't use any other address. The Amazon messaging system will reject your emails if you do. On the next field, you can set your signature. It'll be added to your emails that you send out. This could be your name or your company name. We automatically track any packages sent by USPS, FedEx, DHL, and UPS. This allows us to detect the exact delivery date. However, not all packages are sent using these shipping carriers. Some less known carriers often do not have a way for us to detect when a package is delivered. To still trigger the delivered email around the delivery date, we offer the use estimated delivery times for unsupported carriers option. Basically, in these cases, we will assume that a package has been delivered on the estimated delivery date that Amazon gives us. You would want to use this option if in your marketplace the supported carriers are not very common and if you want to trigger on more orders. Actually, this option should be enabled unless you have a very specific reason not to. The last option allows you to automatically blacklist buyers that have returned a product. This will stop any further emails to the blacklisted buyer. Click Save to continue to the EAR dashboard. On the EAR dashboard, you will see a few options. Let's start creating your first EAR. Click on the Create button in the New Email Template section. You will now be able to choose any of our existing templates or just compose yours from scratch. It can be anything from order confirmation all the way to refund initiated or even certain days after delivery has taken place. Let's select the Order Delivered template. Now you can customize your EAR in four easy steps. First, you'll be asked which products this EAR should trigger. You can select all your products, just one, or make a selection of a variety of your ASINs. It's completely up to you. If you use very long product titles in your Amazon listings, then you might want to set up a short name for each ASIN you use. You can do that by clicking on the Edit Short Product Names button. The advantage of using short titles is that your emails will look cleaner when you send them out and your customers won't feel overwhelmed by so much text. Click on Next when you're all set here. On this page, you can determine on which event you want to trigger this EAR and when you want it to be sent out. The events that we currently support are Confirmed, when an order has been confirmed. In some cases, Amazon skips this event and in that case, it will trigger on Shipped. Shipped, when an order has been shipped from the Amazon warehouse. Marked out for delivery, when the package is out on the truck and it is about to be delivered, keep in mind that this only works with the supported carriers. Negative feedback is left, when a buyer leaves you negative feedback for an order. Delivered, when a package has been delivered. Products returned, when a package arrives at an Amazon warehouse after it has been returned by your buyer. And refund initiated, when the buyer has asked for a refund. This requires some additional setup of an email forwarder. Select Refund Initiated to learn more, but don't worry, it's a very easy process. The next option allows you to exclude orders from buyers that had some kind of discount. You may want to enable this if you are running a promotion using coupon codes. Exclude Negative Feedback allows you to stop sending emails to clients that have left you a negative feedback. You don't want to send a How'd it go or what do you think of us email after they have already left negative feedback. Email once repeat buyers. 
makes it sure that we do not send emails to a buyer that has already bought from you so they only get one email. And finally, you can set up a schedule for your EAR. You might want to send out a specific email around the holidays, but if you want it to work every time someone buys your product, you need to leave those blank. Click next to continue. Before you start editing your email, it is very important that you understand the limitations Amazon puts on sending emails through their messaging system. Not following these guidelines can lead to your emails not being delivered or even as far as getting your Amazon seller account banned. Here you can set the subject and the body of your email we will send out for you. You can use different variables or short codes to auto replace text in your subject or your body. To add these to your email, you simply have to click on the preset short code buttons next to the words insert variables. The top ones work on the subject and the bottom ones are for the actual email content. You can also upload three attachments with a total size of about 10 megabytes. The type of files you can upload are limited to documents with extensions like text, PDF, doc, JPEG, etc. These limitations are in accordance with the guidelines of the Amazon messaging system. Click on next when you are done. Now give your new EAR a name and click on update. This is your saving button. If you don't click update, you might as well lose all your hard work. Your EAR has now been created and you should see it in the list of EARs that you have configured. Note that the page that you are looking at can also be reached from the EAR dashboard. Just click on the email autoresponder link in the menu on the left and then select manage. On this page, you can manage your EARs. The options available for each EAR are to edit, just edit your EAR, activate, Activate your EAR and start sending messages. Remember, you need to activate it for it to actually start sending the emails. Send a test email. See a preview of a test email and send it to your private email address. See log. See all emails that have been sent by this EAR. Delete. Remove the EAR. Check order. This option is available once you have activated your EAR. And the check order function is very useful for understanding why your EAR has not sent out emails yet. First of all, any EAR will only trigger on orders placed after the activation date of your EAR. Any order that was placed before the activation of your EAR is automatically ignored, even if it matches the event of your EAR. This is done to prevent sending out a massive amount of emails when you activate your new EAR. If you are in doubt, just click on the check order button and enter the order ID you think it should have triggered for. You can see the exact status of this order and why it has not triggered yet. Back on the EAR dashboard, you can also see the email log option. This page will display a list of all the emails we have sent out for you, and you can see the content of every single one of them. The fourth option is your personal blacklist. Any buyer in this list will be excluded for any of your EARs. You can manually add your buyers to this blacklist by simply entering the Amazon order ID. And if needed, you can also search and remove buyers manually. Lastly, on the EAR dashboard, you can also find two graphs which indicate how many emails we have sent out daily and your daily order statistics. Finally, I would like to mention a couple of things that are important when you use the EAR system. Number one, don't spam. We recommend not sending more than three messages to each buyer. Number two, read what is allowed by Amazon and what's not. This can prevent delivery issues or worse. For example, you can't link to any external websites from your emails. And number three, we get asked often, why are there no engagement statistics? Any type of engagement measuring would require the use of third party links or images hosted on a third party service which is not allowed by Amazon's terms of service. This means you cannot know who actually opens your emails or not. And that's it for this tutorial. As always, you can send us an email at support at zonpages.com if you have any more questions.